Hey there, Double Eagle. I want you to think about what makes a game fun. Maybe you like to play Minecraft and you build a really cool house. Or maybe you play Fortnite and sometimes you actually make it to the very end. Maybe you like to catch rare Pokemon. Or maybe you play Monopoly with your family and you like moving your car around and buying up all the hotels. So usually what makes something fun is if it's challenging but possible. So today we are going to make a game for each other, a little marble maze. Okay, we've got some materials and now we're going to get started. So the first thing we're going to do is get our platform ready. Sapphire's using a cereal box. I'm using a paper plate. So I don't have much to do to get ready, but Sapphire does. She wants to make it open. So how are you going to do that? I'm just going to cut off this top right here. Okay, and we can have this side open. Okay. And while she's doing that, I'll show you guys some of the materials we gathered. Uh, you just use whatever you can find around your house, recycle bin or whatever. I happen to have some pipe cleaners and some plastic straws, rubber bands, glitter. I don't know what this is, but it's from our recycle bin. Could be interesting. We've got some popsicle sticks. We also have some regular sticks just from outside and a toilet paper roll. So we'll see if we can make a good marble maze with these materials. Uh, we've got glue and tape to fasten everything on. I'm thinking we might glue and then add tape temporarily to help the, the glue stay on in the right position. Okay, and notice the box kind of came apart, so we're going to have to tape that. Now we're going to make some maze walls. It's easiest if you take the places where the cardboard already bends and we can use that as our seam here. Here we can use this like this and band it along that and make a wall. Now depending on the size of your base and the size of your balls, you might want a different size wall. And one thing I'm noticing, look if we use this wall, see how it kind of slants to the side? Hmm, I bet if we put one support going this way and one support going this way, we could get it more in the middle. So I'm going to cut this halfway just to this bend, and we'll bend this one the other way. Now, if we glue it like this, it will stay up in the middle. And we can make these whatever length we want. We can bend them or fold them. Uh, if you have to bend the cardboard on its own, you can use something like this ruler to get it to bend in a straight line. So I'm going to put the ruler here and then fold it over the edge of the ruler and see how that makes a nice, neat, straight fold. So the ruler is your friend here. And don't forget we can also draw a line where we want to cut so we can get a nice straight line. You want to use this one, Sapphire? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I guess we need to decide where our marbles are going to start and where they're going to finish. So I've got a marker here. I think I want them to start at the bottom. I'll put a little arrow. We start in an arrow. And I'm not sure where the finish will be yet. I'll put that in at the end. say one thing that can make each maze more fun. So first, Sapphire is going to try my maze. Uh, I'm going to start and try to get to the finish. I'm going to take... Oh, well, actually, I want to go through the desert. Yeah. Oh, that's a dead end. But it's a desert! <laughs> okay, now I'm going to try to get to the finish. Okay, you can do... Oh, use the tunnel, huh? 
Oh, don't let the monster get you. <laughs> I was gonna finish the wrong way. <laughs> okay. So do you have any suggestions for how this could be more fun? Um. Well, maybe you could add like another wall, like here or something. So like, if you took the tunnel, you had to like go past something before you could come over here. So make it a little longer. Yeah, and maybe make it so you can't just go through the finish back. Oh, that's right. You can sneak in there. Okay. I'll think about that. Now I'll try yours. Mhm. Mm Okay, I'm going to put in the chute. Yeah, I didn't test the chute because it was wet, so. Okay, oh, and so we have this tunnel here. Oh, that's like a reset tunnel. Whoa, whoa. Oh, we got like a pachinko thing. You went the wrong oh, way. Oh, but that's the wrong way. Okay. I'm going this way this time. Okay, we're going to try these. Whoa! And then, is this a dead end if I go in this spiral? Maybe. Yeah? Okay, that's kind of fun. And then we got this big ramp here, and back to the beginning. Cool. Yeah, I think that's kind of fun. The one thing I would do to make it more fun is have something in this blank area here. Um, and maybe open this up a little, because it was kind of hard mm -hmm. to get the ball in there. <laughs> All right, so I hope you will make your own marble maze, give it to someone to test out, and ask them, what can I do to make it more fun? Uh, we want our mazes to be challenging, not super easy, but not too hard for any of you possible. Uh, I'm excited to see what you will make. Stay safe, have fun, and keep building.